Let's go Lions! A recent piece of news has caused quite a stir among fans. The Detroit Lions have been making changes to their roster in order to get everything in order and make it to the long-awaited Super Bowl. So if you want to stay up to date with everything that's happening behind the scenes, be sure to hit that like button and I'll keep you updated. At the end, leave your comments about these changes. Trust me, you won't want to miss what we have in store for you today, especially with some big changes happening in the organization. First, let's talk about Alan McNeil, who just secured a massive four-year extension with the Lions worth a whopping $97 million, with $55 million guaranteed. That's right, Lions fans, Alam is about to become one of the highest-paid interior defensive linemen in the NFL. This is a significant jump from his rookie contract which was valued at around $5 million. McNeil has truly established himself as a key player for the Lions since being drafted in the third round in 2021. His performance last weekend, where he racked up two sacks in our dominant win over the Cowboys, only cements his status as a key player for our future. But hold on to your hats, because that's not all we're discussing today. As we know, replacing Aiden Hutchinson is going to be no easy feat for our Lions. While many fans are eyeing big-name players like Max Crosby or Miles Garrett, I'm here to suggest a more strategic approach. The Tennessee Titans are currently struggling and may be heading into rebuild mode. This presents an incredible opportunity for the Lions to snatch up some key players from their roster, specifically, two standouts who have experience with our defensive line coach, Terrell Williams. Now, here's the blockbuster trade proposal that I'm excited to share. The Lions could land Jeffrey Simmons and Harold Landry from the Titans. In exchange, Tennessee would receive Hendon Hooker, Ennis Rakestraw, a 2025 second-round pick, and a 2026 fourth-round pick. Let's break this down a bit. Starting with Simmons, he's a versatile player who can line up both inside and outside. While he's primarily listed as a defensive tackle, he's been used at defensive end this season as well. He's a game-changer who would thrive in our defensive scheme, and the best part, his salary is manageable at just over $11 million this year and $17.5 million next year. With no dead cap concerns, the Lions won't be stuck with a costly contract if his performance declines, which I genuinely don't believe will happen. Now, let's talk about Landry. His contract is structured in such a way that it essentially costs the Lions about $1 million per game. If things don't work out, they can part ways with him after just one season without any financial repercussions. This gives the Lions flexibility, whether he's a one-year rental or part of our plans for the future, this deal is a steal. Of course, trading away Hooker is a big step. The Titans are desperate for a quarterback, and Hooker has the mobility and skill set to make an immediate impact. Plus, he has local ties, having played successfully at Tennessee. Titans fans would likely be thrilled with this addition. Now, the sticking point comes with Ennis Rakestraw. The Titans need a quarterback, and he's the most attractive piece the Lions can offer. I get it. This might make some fans uneasy. Rakestraw has potential, especially with the depth we currently have at corner. However, securing two elite defensive linemen would give the Lions a much-needed boost this season, especially with Hutchinson out. It's a chance to strengthen our defensive front in a significant way. Yes, coming away with draft assets is tough, but look at it this way. Simmons is an all-pro talent at just 27 years old. To sign him, we'll need to give up a high pick but the Lions are giving away their second-round pick this year, which makes a 2026 fourth-round pick a fair compromise. This proposed trade may seem ambitious, but it's a move worth making, Lions fans. By acquiring Simmons and Landry, we get two premium players who can make an immediate impact while also being cost-effective in the long run. So, what do you think, Lions fans? Is this the right move for our team? Are you excited about the possibility of bringing Simmons and Landry to Detroit? I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. The Detroit Lions are facing a harsh reality as they struggle with the loss of star defensive tackle Aiden Hutchinson for the season. This news sent shockwaves through the fan base, and rightfully so. Hutchinson, who has been a cornerstone of our defense, is irreplaceable. But what does this mean for the Lions going forward? Former NFL quarterback Dominique Foxworth shared his insights on the Mina Kimes show, and his words certainly carry weight. He expressed serious concerns about how the Lions will adjust without Hutchinson, saying, you're not going to be able to replace that, so you're going to have to change the way you play. This is where it gets tricky, Lions fans. With Hutchinson out, we may have to rethink our defensive strategy, and that's no easy task. The Lions' defense under Aaron Glenn has shown flashes of brilliance this season despite ranking 27th in passing defense, giving up 329 yards per game. They've had standout performances, like holding the Arizona Cardinals to just 13 points and eliminating the Dallas Cowboys. But can they maintain that level of performance without Hutchinson? Foxworth is skeptical, noting, I don't know where it's going to end. 
but the best they can do is be a little bit worse than they were before. So what are the Lions' options? Glenn may have to implement more blitzes and adjust coverages to compensate for Hutchinson's absence. There's also the possibility of adding a new player to the roster. However, Foxworth warns that filling that void will be incredibly challenging, and that's a sentiment we all share. On a brighter note, there's some good news on the offensive side of the ball. The Lions have been on fire lately, scoring an impressive 89 points in their last two games. Mina Kimes believes our offense is more than capable of carrying the team, even with the defensive setbacks. She mentioned, their offense is incredible and everything we hoped it would be, especially highlighting the explosive passing game we've seen this season. Kimes assured us that while Hutchinson's injury is devastating, she hasn't given up hope for the season. I feel like the offense can be good enough to mitigate it to some extent. That's a powerful statement, Lions fans, and it gives us something to rally behind as we navigate these challenging times. As we look to the future, the pressure is mounting on Aaron Glenn to deliver defensively, but we can lean on our dynamic offense to keep spirits high. So, what do you think, Lions fans? How do you feel about the team's chances moving forward without Hutchinson? Will our offense be enough to carry us through? This Sunday, we have a heavyweight showdown in Minneapolis, as the Lions and Vikings face off as the two best teams in the NFC North. It will be a battle for the ages, and Vikings safety Cameron Bynum is already feeling the heat, he said. They have weapons everywhere, highlighting the depth and skill of our offense. After scoring an incredible 89 points in our last two wins over Seattle and Dallas, it's clear that our Lions are a force to be reckoned with. But the Vikings are preparing in spades. Head coach Kevin O'Connell provided an update on running back Aaron Jones, who is recovering from a hip injury. He's been tagged week to week, which could play a big role in Minnesota's game plan. To bolster their backfield, they recently traded for Cam Akers, but it remains to be seen how effective he can be against our tough defense. Speaking of defense, Vikings defensive coordinator Brian Flores isn't underestimating our Lions. He noted that when he watches our offense on tape, he doesn't see any weaknesses. That's right, Lions fans, Flores recognizes the high level of play at every level, from running backs to wide receivers to the offensive line. It's a testament to our coaching and the talent on the field. In a show of respect, offensive tackle Christian Derisaw shared his thoughts on Aiden Hutchinson's injury, saying, It sucks to see, noting how much he respects Hutchinson's play. Even without Hutchinson, Flores is ready to counter Lions offensive coordinator Ben Johnson's aggressive play, saying he plans to fight fire with fire. Minnesota special teams coordinator Matt Daniels also praised our Lions for their disciplined and tough style of play. He anticipates a battle on Sunday, and with our history of successful fake punts under head coach Dan Campbell, he's preparing his team for anything we can throw at them. As we gear up for this crucial NFC North showdown, it's clear that both teams are bringing their A game. So... How do you feel about our chances against the Vikings? Are you confident in our offense to keep up the pace? Let me know what you think in the comments. And before you go, be sure to like this video and subscribe for all the latest updates on our Detroit Lions. Go Lions!